Hello cookbook friend, my name is Carrie with Cookbook Divas and I'm very excited to look through Pardis with you today. It's a Persian food journey by Manuela Darling Ganser. I'm not sure what year this came out. The cover is gorgeous. This is gilt. It's a huge cookbook and it has a book ribbon in it to keep your place. It came out in 2020 during the pandemic. A Persian food journey. Now I'm assuming that Pardis is pronounced that way. I don't think it's Pardis. Pardis sounds fancier, so that's how I'm going to say it. So here's the table of contents, which I'm having trouble reading because it's a tiny font. My Paradise Garden, a Tadrish Market, the Caspian Sea, the story of rice, the culture of tea. Oh, we're going to learn a lot from this one. Picnics and gardens, bread, street food, the central something, the miracle of water, the rose harvest, the luxury of old Persia, ice in the desert, yeah, just eating at home, the art of hospitality, which definitely Persian cultures are known for, uh, eating, oh, eating at restaurants and a Persian feast at home. Oh, okay, introduction, I'll read it later when I'm not on camera and when I can find my glasses. So here's a map of Iran. And pantry page, which most international cookbooks have. Her Paradise Garden, mm, black and white photos. Okay. Not because they're old, it's stylistic choices. Here's some gardens. Beautiful. But let's get to the recipes. Oh, more garden pictures, but black and white. I'm not impressed. If the pictures were old or they only had access to black and white film, then that's totally different. There's some more photos of traveling. Okay, that's why this book is so big. Ouch, and it's heavy. Let's get to the recipes. Okay, here's the first recipe I've seen. Vinegar and honey health tonic called Sakanjabin. Sorry if I mess up any pronunciations. I've never seen these words before. Here's thickened yogurt. Mast e chekida. I don't know. Here's a tomato and Turkish pepper salad. Beautiful. Nice photography. Broad bean salad with pistachio. Eggplant dip. A feast at home. Sitting on low chairs near the floor, but not on the floor. Lamb hot pot with eggplant, peas, and beans. Here's pistachio ice cream with burnt sugar. Beautiful. Now we're in the Tajrish Market chapter. I have a feeling we're going to see lots of pictures of the market. Yep, I wasn't wrong. Okay, we're going to learn a lot about Iranian culture from this cookbook. And I took a Persian cooking class and it was all about chopping up tons and tons of herbs. So here's yogurt and broad bean dip and mixed herb salad, lots of herbs, broad beans with eggs, that looks good, and oh this is gorgeous, mixed herb frittata, beautiful, this is a gorgeous cookbook, it's also very heavy so I'm gonna hold it and skip ahead, vegetable fritters in a spicy tomato sauce, that's probably the first thing I would make out of this, now we're in the Caspian Sea chapter, I'll just skip by the sea photos, here's some fish, Let's find a recipe. Summer egg salad. Hmm. Oh, here's people feasting at the table again. Here's a fish kebabs recipe. Here's walnut and pomegranate stew with chicken. Imagine that in winter on a cold night. Here's the story of rice. Here's rice with egg yolk and sumac. That looks delicious. I want to make that as a side for dinner tonight. Baked rice with golden crust, spinach, and eggplant filling. I actually learned to make this in my Persian cooking class that I took, but I never made it once we got home. The culture of tea. Photos, photos. That's nice. Lots of tea photos. Okay, beautiful samovar, etc. Here's a chai recipe. Here are biscuits for chai and mother's kisses. Aw, that's a nice name for that. Carrot jam would probably not be my favorite, but I would try it. I'm going to skip ahead to another chapter. Chickpea and buckwheat kibbe. 
sounds healthy. Uh, here's minced flat kebab and spices. Now we're in the bread chapter. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's a nice photo. I want to share this one. Makes you want to get in the kitchen and make some bread. Okay, what kind of bread recipes? Naan. Uh, this is taftoon bread. Now we're in street food already. Okay, apparently you don't need a lot of recipes. So here's typical street food, you know, photos. New Year good luck soup. I think I learned how to make that. Lamb and white bean soup. The Central Plateau, the miracle of water. Um, not sure what... Ooh, cold yogurt soup. Imagine that in summer on a hot day. Spiced white beans with eggs. I totally would make this tonight. Ooh, and I have the beans and I have the eggs and I have the herbs. Okay, no excuse. Baked eggplants with pomegranate sauce. I'm very gl glad that I checked this cookbook out of the library because I'm tired of trying to think of what to make for dinner. So now I've already had a couple ideas. Sumac syrup. Do I have sumac in the house? I think I do. Beautiful photos. Some ladies. The luxury of old Persia. There's going to be lots of photos of the old cities, but I'm here for the recipes. So I'm skipping ahead. Oh, how to prepare saffron. That's very useful. Here's an open omelet with saffron. That looks gorgeous. Here's stuffed cabbage leaves. Yum. I'm not a cabbage fan, but I would eat that. Eggplant hot pot. And now we're moving to another chapter. I'm not sure because I skipped ahead. <gasps> Yazdi cupcakes. Look how gorgeous that is. I'll give you a second to look at it. Wow. Um, how about lentil and eggplant mash? Okay, that's not a gorgeous photo, but it's hard to make lentils look delicious, but they are. Here's a Shirazi salad. Beautiful. I'm going to show you just a couple more things. Meatballs and a spicy tomato sauce. And mm, eating at restaurants. Not going to have a rest. Oh, yeah, they are. Hummus boats. Cute. And meatballs and a savory sauce. Kofte, which you also have in India. And here's a Persian feast at home. What does that look like? Mmm. Lots and lots of dishes on the table. Wow, that's incredible. I think I need to own this because after I take it back to the library in a few days, I'll be very sad and miss it. That was Pardis, a Persian food journey, Manuela Darling Ganser. Thanks so much for watching this cookbook review and look through with me. You can see more of them on our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and at the cookbookdivas.com website and blog. And we also have a podcast I'd like to invite you to listen to. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.